What's up guys? Give me one second, I'm just trying to get set up here. What's up guys? Welcome. <clears throat> White cream easies for 340 AUD. Is that Australian dollar? 340 AUD. Damn, that's a good price. Yo, that's sick. Congrats. Up to Pure Boost DTR, DPR. Multicolor, $50. Sorry, give me a second, guys. Is the audio really uh, bad? Give me one second. I'll try to fix it. Yo, Pure Boost DPR, that's lit for $50. Gucci, Gucci slides. Reserve the pair of bread one toes. That's sweet, man. Poor black 4.0s. Sick. Um, black SFAF1. Easy creep food, crepe foods off the end tail. Wow, congrats on the gold, gold toes, eh? What? That's so sick. You guys got a lot of good shoes recently. It's awesome. How are you guys doing otherwise? Sesame Trace NMDs. Um, are those the Sesame Trace NMDs? Oh, those are pretty sweet. The knit on the uh, normal ankle collar NMDs are pretty sweet. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, trying to get up through the stage. So in this stage of Mario, basically, um, he's trying to get a chef to cook food for him. Bought Shit Jordan Chicago 1 2013 off limits. That's pretty sick. Um, I recently caught the BYWs, the crazy ADV. Ah, shoot. I thought that's pretty sweet, but it's not coming in until like next week, so too bad I have to wait for the mail, man. Getting mail always feels good, but the waiting part feels disastrous. It's like, shoot. Yeah, getting mail is like Christmas. It's this insane feeling. It's almost addictive to always think that, hey, I'm about to get mail, and once you get it, it's satisfying. Well, I mean, I guess that's why people have shopaholic problems. <laughs> Black Cement 2018. Those are sick, man. Congrats. How much were the Chinese near 4.0s? That's pretty sweet. Congrats, man. Ah, 
I wish I was lucky on getting those all-star pairs, but sadly, I only got the ADV, the normal ones, but I think they're still pretty common. I don't ball a lot, so I guess it's not entirely terrible that I didn't get it. Nice, congrats. Congrats on the Dame 4 Babes, man. I was on that waiting page and I just couldn't cop. It was so sad. Skechers X Easy Beluga. Yep. That's a sweet. That's a sweet uh, shoe, man. So I need to seduce this girl on that side to get a heart. There we go. Sweet. And then when you show up as Mario, she disappears. I'm like a 9 most of the time. Adidas is a bit weird sometimes, like, depends on how tight the shoe is. It'll be a lot, uh, uh, like, it'll be a like, half size down. But I never really had to go like a full size up or full size down, except for the uh, easy V2. Those are the only times I ever felt like I needed to grab a full size up. Yes! Sweet. So now I'm this fireball, and I guess I'm just gonna swim around to see. Oh, sick. Let's see what this is. What? That's sweet. I really want to know what this pink goo is. What the heck is that? Anyways, anyone from Australia and has bought off stock X? We're gonna get a chameleon one later this year. Huh, I don't know if StockX does international. I'm pretty sure they do, depending on how big, I mean, it's possible, like, trying to, just, like, imagine how big they grew from, like, two years uh, ago, so. Well, that's awesome. Um, how much do you get your reigning chance peer boost for? No, I have not used the Limits app before. The only apps that I've encountered is uh, the Goat app and the StockX app. And both have been good so far. 80 off grill? Sweet, man. Congrats. Fireball gets a mustache <laughs> when it turns to Mario, like the original one doesn't. 
and a note. I just got this City of Flight Air Jordan once today. Not, I'm not too familiar with that one. Yeah, the upper was better and the Nikes, they'd be perfect. Yeah, honestly, the Nikes are sweet. Um, uh, the uppers are okay. I feel like they're... Mm, it would be really cool to see a prime knit version of the NMD. I mean, sorry, the Nikki. I want to know what that would look like. <laughs> I'm trying to finish this game guys. I'm really really trying hard to finish this game. I haven't been playing this game in a long time, but man. For those who followed me playing this game, I've been putting this on the back burner for so long. I've been busy with so many other things. The pink blue is Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Have the easy 350 turtle doves? No, I don't. Um, I've been thinking about dishing out some for that, but maybe I would put pirate blacks over turtle doves. And also, let me know if the audio is good, guys, because I can't hear feedback um, or like uh, monitor what's happening in audio. So let me know if you guys can hear the audio properly. And undefeated pro pro fear. I haven't tried the pro fear or the pop here. I'm pretty sure it's pro fear. Um, but let me know how the comfort is because there's been a lot of hype around them. Um, Naked Mario randomly possessed the world. I got the Niki Vista Gray for $96 all in. Sick. Congrats, man. I think there was a huge sale at Exclusity. Was that the sale that you were, uh, that you had? <laughs> the A Manonair Invincible NMD. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. A Ma Manere Manere X Invincible NMD is pretty lit. Thanks, Flippy, for the audio feedback. We're just gonna get into this boss fight. Sixty percent in store and fifty percent online, dude. That's a big sale. I might go check out what's that exclusive, man. The Pro Fears run half size big. It fits really comfy. Something for with for something with no boost. Um, recently, I went to the store and I tried the EQT uh, ADV Basque, the basketball shoe. Holy, the comfort on that is insane. Um, uh, or not it not being boost. First, the rubber is soft, so the outsole is soft. And then it also gives you arch support and the prime knit just hugs you so well. I don't know how to explain it, but if you guys ever get a chance to get the EQT Basque to even try it, I think it's totally worth it. 
Um, no, I do not think it's a basketball shoe. It's definitely w made for lifestyle. That's why it's an Adidas Originals uh, line of shoe. But damn, that shoe is comfy. Oh, um, the mocha? Is that the... Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me see. The mocha shoe. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I think they're pretty sweet. They're definitely a unique colorway that I haven't seen in the other Ultra Boost. And I haven't seen them in real life, so I don't know uh, what color they are exactly. I thought it would look more like a coffee color. Um, Pop the full beige and then the XR ones. They're my favorite looking shoe all the time, I'm gonna say. If it's a beige colorway, I think that it'll fit really well with the pastel color tones. If you guys ever. If you're if you ever like try to get outfits that are like pale wave and stuff in color or like skin tone type colors. Time to fight this boss again, guys. The BYWs that I caught recently, I just can't wait to try them. Like, um, other than this shoe, the other shoe from Reebok, the... Uh, what is it called? Um, oh, the Pump Furies. From those two, I think those are the two most interesting shoe that has the same uh, style as those Japanese sandals. So those Japanese sandals called Geddas, I think, um, they're basically used to walk uh, in like muddy fields as well as like um, through different terrains because uh, first you don't get your feet wet and it's really hard so it's very durable. Um, so that middle section that is gone where your arch is, uh, is very unique to Re uh, Reebok Pump Furies. And then now that the BYWs came out, uh, I think pushing that style out in that kind of uh, shape would definitely increase uh, more popularity towards designs like that, or more openness at least. Because, I don't know, they're pretty crazy looking and they're pretty sweet. Is the military green olive ultra boost the one uh, 3.0 the trace olives uh, or sorry trace cargos black which i have not worn yet <laughs> um i just copped a pair of triple black uh 4.0s and i'll be doing a review on them soon um
Do you guys think I'll beat him? I got the black gray bottom air jordan ones mid that's sweet man congrats um do you have any opinion on high top skinny jeans um if you're if you think j uh, jordan ones are gonna look goofy on you you should just go to your local sneaker store and try to find a pair of jordans um or like um maybe buy a really Maybe buy like a really beat up one and try them on, or go for like Supras and try them on, see if what you think would look good. Um, um, I don't know. You're gonna have to definitely try it on your own to see if it fits your style. Um, I was never really a high top guy. I don't really have much sneakers that are high top. Uh, I think closest to mid top is the easies but i don't even really consider them mid top i don't know um you're gonna have to try them out but most of the time skinny jeans looks pretty good on almost everything um and my eqt cushion adv um it did break down after a while uh but i still prefer my alpha balance a lot more um and the new eqt adv basque is way more comfortable than the cushion ADV. Um, I basically lost hope on the cushion ADV. If anything, they should have named the Basque ADV EQT. Sorry, there's so many ADVs. Um, just EQT Basque um, as one of the better um, cushions for EQT um, besides Boost. And future baits are sick. Congrats, man. I want the overkill ones. I think the overkill's EQT is definitely on my list. I haven't, haven't been able to, be able to have a chance to cop them. Cop the fifth anniversary. Oh yeah, there was a huge pricing glitch. Did you already receive it? I heard a lot of people uh, were able to cop that, but too bad in Canada that didn't happen for us. Alpha bounce or NMDs? Hmm. Alpha bounce for everyday use, NMDs for flexing. I think that seems pretty fair. We. Man, Mario's got some light ass nipples. See what happens here. What is this? Oh, my God, it's a fork. Excuse me. Um, Let's talk to this guy. What's up, man? Big welcome to Mount Volbono, home to the hugest flavors anywhere. I'd show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. Okay, what's on fire? Nothing's on fire. Ooh, man. All right, what do you gotta say? That bird up there showed up out of nowhere and took over our stew pot. Just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew too. And everyone's getting too ready to dig in. Alright, so Bowser wants to have a soup in his new buddy. So. Let's see what happens here. What's 
something there. Climbing a mountain used to be a piece of cake, but the path up through stew pot has crumbled to pieces. There's no way up there now, not unless you can get sprout wings hitch a rather flappy type. See that slab of meat? Sure you don't, but that bird hasn't not yet. Uh, don't know what he's waiting for. Damn, that text is so scary. Stop shaking. When he sees it though, that bird's gonna make it off with our meat. I bet you anything he does. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, no, fuck, fuck, fuck. I fell. Yo, Brett, thanks for chilling, man. I'll see you guys. I'll see you in the next vi vi stream or video. Thanks for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I know I tried them on, but to be honest, I'm not sure what I should get. I think you should get whatever you need it for. So if you need it for flexing all the time, then you should get NMD. But if you want to get comfortable, get Alpha Bounce. Um, I don't. Easy V2 or Jordan Air 1 off white. You cop that or did you uh, want my opinion of it? Um, impulse. Bought a pair of EQT ADV cushion grip and finally hit the all night stretch. Sure. Yeah. Five cancel order. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, no worries, man. Sorry that it didn't work out for you. Definitely try out that um, ADV bask though, because I definitely think that's worth it. It's worth the hype right now. Um, yeah, I definitely think the Manair Ex Invincible collab is really, really sweet. Yo, the Pure Boost C CNY, I think, is one of the dopest CNYs this year. Even better than the NMD R2. And did you guys see the new EQT one? The new EQT one is pretty sweet as well. Congrats on the Air Max 2017. And congrats on the Black Cement 3s. Those are pretty sweet too. Alright. Let's see what's up here, guys. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Thanks for tuning in the stream. Um, hope ah, shit. I hope this stream has been entertaining for you guys. I'm gonna really, really try to beat this game in one night. So, uh, for those who are also team no sleep, welcome to the stream. And, um... It's pretty hype, this whole All-Star Weekend thing happening. I really wish I was in LA right now. Come on, man. Shit. There we go. What's going on here? The Ultra Boost CNY is pretty lit too, but I feel like the last year's version was sick. What is my opinion on Balenciaga? I think they're a pretty cool brand. Um, I mean, the really bulky shoe didn't really fit my kind of style, but I'm not to say that you can't rock it, so um, I 
feel like it just depends on the different outfits you try. Uh, it will look good uh, uh, otherwise. Um, but the socks, those, uh, I think they're called runners or racers, speed racer or something. Those are pretty sick. Um, but, uh, I mean, at first I thought it was kind of foolish. But then after I see people like do wear wear it with different fits, it's pretty sick. Um, and I can't say much about comfort. I haven't really tried them on, and I don't really have the money to drop for it. So I mean, if you're into it and you think that it's really good, I think it's awesome. Yeah. that meet up there to finish our stupendous stew. I'm sure that crazy bird is going to go after it. What's it covered with? Salt? That's how we treat our meat before dropping the stew. Extra tasty. Sick. I would die for a stew right now. Jeez, man. Is that a Koopa? see in one night. I'm gonna try my best to. But right now, it doesn't seem like it's happening. Pay attention to this other turtle. I mean, this Koopa that will get up, get off my ass. Off-white AJ1. Those are pretty neat, man. Uh... Justine Chang Li Hao. That's awesome, man. I always support creators. I might just come by and check out your video. Um, Kale Nude Human Races. Those are sweet, dude. Congrats. Ultra Boost 4.0 Triple Black. I'm going to do a review on those soon, so that's awesome. Congrats on the cop. Um, just got an EQT 893.17. Was on sale, so why not? Sweet, man. Congrats. EPA, is it, uh, are you in Asia? Um, good morning to you, too. I haven't tried Zelda on the Switch yet. I've just been trying to beat this, and I don't even have time to. But tonight is the night I'm going to try it. Okay, let's 
Let's see what's up. Oh, I can jump up here. Okay. Sick. What is this? What am I supposed to do up here? I need to get to that, uh... Stew. How do I do that? Maybe I have to get the moon to get the stew. Get this turtle off there. Hey, EPA or EPA, welcome to uh, my stream and hello to Finland. Have you ever bleached vans? No, I haven't. Is that a is that a trend? Um, I'm definitely d down to try because I love bleached look on. Um, materials such as like clothing and stuff and even jeans fortnite um i haven't been playing much pc games i've just been trying to finish this switch stuff um what do you guys think about nintendo labo have you guys heard about it would you guys caught would you guys want to see a video of me playing around with a nintendo labo Sick. Twitch. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, well, I'm a piece of meat with a mustache. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh shit. getting cooked. What the hell's going on, man? I guess I'm getting cooked. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I had one job. Jesus. Um... Does anyone know any more info about the AJ1 bread town? Can't seem to find upcoming sneakers app. Sorry, um, I'm definitely not that guy. To know more about it. Yeah, I think the lab was pretty hype. Um, what would you guys be more interested in seeing? The uh, abundance of accessories. I mean, the um, toys such as like the racing car, the house, um, and all the other, uh, or the fishing rod. And the motorbike, or would you guys want to see um, the Nintendo Labo that is a robot uh, suit? I feel like if I buy the robot suit and it's only fitted for kids, I'd be so pissed because then, like, what's the point? I'll be building it and it won't fit me. Um, and also realize, like, the Nintendo Labo robot suit, it looks like that you can put the uh, 
uh, Nintendo Switch as a monitor that you can wear, like a VR. But at the same time, what if it doesn't? Then I feel like maybe it would be a waste of money to buy the Robo suit. Um, also, I don't want to look kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, uh, would Robo suit, in terms of value, way over the abundance of like different things you can do? So like, there's the fishing game. There's the um, uh, gingerbread house or something. Um, there's like a lot of different uh, uh, like activities that you can do with that other kit. Oh, that's sweet. How'd you know the robot kit fits size fits all sizes? That's pretty sick. Huh. Um, Julie Ords, um, my collection is not that impressive, so, uh, I'm definitely not as, like, hyped as all these other sneaker YouTubers. I just collect sneakers casually, and I like to make videos, uh, video content more than I do with shoes. So, um, like, having shoes as a platform to talk about visual content such as like travel vlogs as well as like making videos is something that I definitely have much more of a passion for than just sneakers so um, I spend a lot of money on sneakers and video gear and at the end of the day if I have too much video I have too much shoes I can't afford video gear so my life has been this push-pull um, of creativity versus uh, sneakers and hype so my sneaker collection is definitely not impressive. So unfortunately, I'm sorry. I'm not that uh, big of a, a sneaker collector, but I have just enough to keep me well, uh, as it well teased all the time. Not not well teased, well uh, satisfied. Uh, Epa, that sounds really tough, man. Three hours away? Huh. What's the store in Finland that sells shoe, uh, sneakers? Um, so then, does that mean you have to fight all the bots all the time? That's not, that's not fair, man. I'm sorry. But I'm glad you're able to cop them online um, every now and then, so... Hey, uh, that animation channel. You played Zelda? How is that? I've been meaning to try to get, like, more story-based games, but so far I've just been able to uh, play with the Mario Odyssey, which is pretty awesome, but it's just that I haven't finished it, so if I want to move on, I would want to probably finish this first. here I'm trying to figure something out Oh, I didn't know they had a uh, much more in-depth video of the robot kit. I'll definitely check it out on the Nintendo channel. It took you 200 hours? Jesus. Did you finish the game in 200 hours um, from start to finish? Or would you say the story is shorter than the 200 hours? And I'm definitely down to try the Air Max 270. I think they're sick. Um, I just haven't been able to cop them. So... I'll definitely look into it and see what I can do about that. Has anyone ever done a speed run for Zelda? Like the new one? I would definitely be interested in seeing that. 
if it took 200 hours for you. Are you guys ready to see Mario as a big slab of meat? sounds like ah uh, I don't know man if you don't get the email I feel like that's gonna be a very slim chance unfortunately These are potatoes. That's so funny. Um, but don't lose hope, I guess, Troy. You just gotta wait till tomorrow or maybe by Monday they'll send you a confirmation email. Uh, I just don't wanna kill your hype because I'm not entirely sure. I'm just gonna give you my opinion on that. Bro, this turkey chicken looking thing is fucking ugly. It looks like the Nyx uh, icon for McDonald's chicken. Or like one of those McDonald's characters. Our stupendous steel will be ruined. We gotta stop that crazy blow, but no way anyone can get up there. Alright. I will get up there, man. Come on. Master here, man. Why do Koopas have beaks? That's so whack. Oh, that's so whack. I guess that was just for that move. Alright, I'm gonna try getting up here, see what happens. Here. Huh. Um, the EQT CNYs came out. Um, today uh, in one of the consignment stores uh, in my area and I think they're pretty sweet <laughs> Pepto Bismol Volcano um, but you can't stop just after the story the game really pushes the experience these new weapon durability feature really helps to put out your comfort zone 
Yeah, I took a fat L of the Dame for it too. Um, the Ultra Boot 1.0 um, is a little bit less comfortable than the 3.0. I feel like the 3.0 is much more comfier as a shoe, but athletic wise, I feel like the 1.0 would be a better athletic shoe. So if you're into working out, doing more active stuff, the 1.0 is better for you, especially because the Prime Knit has more structure. Um, the 3.0 is way too soft in terms of Prime Knit, um, as well as the boost comfort uh, to be a uh, running shoe. I'm not saying that you can't do it, I just feel like it would be uh, much better at 1.0. Um, but at the same time, the 3.0 has a big advantage with the Continental outsole which would make you have a better grip in different environments as opposed to the 1.0 which did not have the continental outsole um, and it wears down really really quick. Um, they released a sole stop uh, in Markham. Um, I copped the Puma Ignite Evo Knit High. Dude, that's a sweet shoe. Congrats, Caleb. Uh, how do you think the Pride Ultra Boost will look this year? I don't know. I'm really interested. I didn't even hear anything about that. Um, last year was pretty sick, so I'm hoping that th this year will look awesome too. And no problem, Nate. Just keep the questions coming. I'll try to answer them uh, while playing, uh, but I'll tr probably focus a lot on playing as well. Okay, so I'm here. I do here. Okay, I guess I gotta take that. Alright, I'm gonna take the fire guy. And and that's good. able to melt the cheese? Let's see. No, shit. I did not melt the cheese. Alright, I'm just gonna go here. I'll collect the moons later. Alright, let's see what happens. Look how epic that is, damn. Alright. Oh, what's this? Hey. Thank <laughs> you. 
The themes in each kingdom is so sweet. It's so cool. Um, the boost you wear, the BYWs, uh, I cop them recently, so I'll definitely give my opinion and video uh, on them soon. Um, and I definitely want to give the Air Max 270 a try, um, as well as Epic React, um, or the uh, Nike React. I'm not too sure what the name is. Um, opinion on Under Armour Hover, um, I'm not um, entirely sure because I def de definitely didn't give it a try um, but uh, I know that the Under Armour Charge 2 was really comfortable so um, I'll definitely see what Hover has to offer and um, well I did do uh, an 8 I actually did a review on the Vapormax um, so if you haven't seen that review you should go and check it out on my channel um, so you'll know what my opinion is on the Vapor Max. Um, the Air Max 97, I never tried before, um, but I don't think it's really a shoe um, that I like. I know that there's a lot of sentimental value uh, to that sneaker though. Um, you were able to get the 500 at 747 Warehouse. You were at the 747 Warehouse? That's sick, man. That's so awesome. Um, I don't know why you put a cry face. Did you put a cry face because you didn't get the 500s or did you get it? I'm not sure. Um, two part. Do you think the peanut butter easy will be limited or widely available like the latest easies? Um, Oxford, uh, how, also, how, what do you think of the color compared to Oxford tans? Um, so uh, a lot of times, these uh, hype sneaker releases uh, anytime they take a photo of like the shoe um, it's usually a render or and not the actual picture of the shoe or if it is the actual picture of the shoe they really uh, lighten the color so if you were to expose it like two points down then that's what the real color would look like so um, to answer your question I think it will look very very similar to what the Oxford 10 will look like and that's pretty damn sick um, but I feel like the Oxford 10 on its own is it's very unique. So I don't think it would replace Oxford 10s um, in terms of like hype. Uh, just cop the Air Max 180, J. Crew Old School Vans, New Balance 574 Green, um, and White Adidas Alpha Mounts. Dude, that's a sick list. Um, and the New Balance 574, is that the old uh, 574 or is it the 574S? Um, because I am in love with my 574S, the one I reviewed uh, a couple months back. Um, I haven't tried the Futurecraft midsole, so I don't really have much of an opinion on uh, what the uh, comfort is like. Um, but I'm hoping that it will be a uh, comfort between Boost and Alpha Bounce. Uh, so it's not too soft, but also reactive. Um, and the shoe that I want to see it on is definitely, um, like, I don't know, um, maybe, hmm, maybe the Alpha Bounce. I would like to see it on. But the Alpha Edge, the new one that's been really hyped, um, I think that's pretty awesome. Um, Maybe we can see Futurecraft on Stan Smiths. Uh, maybe we can see Futurecraft on the human races. Those are pretty sick too. Um, so I don't really like the Balenciaga's version of the bulky shoe. Uh, one of the super 
uh, sick bulky shoes that came out recently uh, was the Puma um, like tribute to the Alexander McQueen I think um, those are pretty sick uh, also the easy wave runners those are pretty dope um, but at the same time bulky shoes only got better because of the current looks of streamlined shoes so what I mean is like streamlined shoes are like shoes that look kind of look like they form your feet um, and uh, like bulky shoes are like shoes that look like dad shoes but with the mixture of both of them in mind um, that's the only way you can make a bulky shoe look good so for example Balenciaga's I think they don't look that great because they have way too many layers as well it's too thick and it looks heavy um, whereas the easy wave runner they look kind of light as well as um, they have a streamlined trapezoid look to the shoe um, there. yeah I feel like it's a mixture of both modern and old styles that made the bulky shoe trend uh, go up um, my most worn sneakers are my ultra boost alpha bounce I'm uh, sorry my ultra boost 1.0 alpha bounce um, triple black um, as well as uh, as well as my New Balance uh, 574S. Um, my Yeezys are pretty worn too, but I don't want to destroy them, so I don't wear them as much. What else is there? That's basically, basically it. Um, when will the Future Crafts have mass production? I think they are starting to already have mass production, um, but I still think there takes time to really perfect uh, the, or marginalize um, exactly how much um, they can do at once because those carbon machines are not cheap um, and being able to buy a bunch of them just to produce sneakers they have to see how much uh, tension is being uh, like adjusted towards future craft uh, midsoles as opposed to um, boost because boost is also bought from another company which is BASF and they also have to pay a premium to BASF to have that boost material um, I thought the off-white converse is pretty sick um, I think the whole off-white series the Big Ten uh, is really awesome um, my top ones from that are um, the Air Jordan ones um, the Nike Prestos um, and the Converse. Oh no, sorry, the Air Max 90s. Um, the Converse is probably under that, um, but I didn't get to cop any of them, and um, I don't know. Cool. Um, do you think the SB Dunks will see a revival? Um, maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely down to try Nike Zoom all out. Yeah, the platform crocs are hilarious. Okay, let's get on this game.
think this is so disgusting. I don't know. I wonder what it tastes like, man. That's, that's what I got to do that. Vincent, that's so awesome. I'm so glad that I was able to inspire you to grab that shoe because I think it's a shoe definitely worth it and the packaging is just incredible. Um, I don't think the bulky shoe trend um, is for everyone. Um, the reason why I say that is because like dad shoes, it wasn't for everyone, and some people have different styles in terms of their outfits. So bulky shoes is one thing uh, to like, and then there's also streamlined shoes or like modern shoes, such as like um, Ultra Boost and all that. So um, everyone who's already been on the hype train for that type of shoe, for like streamlined shoes, um, they might only have, uh, they might only stick to streamlined shoes forever. Uh, people who are on the hype train all the time, like on the latest things getting always getting the latest things would be interested in getting the bulky shoes um but like it will take a while to adjust uh it definitely still is very controversial uh it's like are we really gonna step back and try bulky shoes uh, as part of streetwear um this is a real conversation that's happening right now and um that is why the easies are still releasing 700s and 500s uh as well as 350s because uh, those three things balance the market. You have 350s for people who want the streamlined look. You have the 700 and 500 for people who want to just uh, rock bulky shoes and try out the new trend. Yeah, I know how to do the hat jump. Um, you just... All right, well, you throw it, jump on it, and then throw it again, and you jump on it. Sorry, hold on. Hold on. So what? Jump on it. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, I can't do it. Whatever, I'm going in. But I know how to do it. The double hat jump is what you're asking. Okay. Sweet. Um, I think the must cop shoes, um, well, the BYW um, All-Star Weekend one, 
uh, I don't know, what is it called? Shoot. Um, I'm slipping my mind. What is it called? The BYW with the black boost at the back is pretty fucking sick. I think those are a must cop. Um, Pharrell NMD. I think the uh, holy one, the purple one, is pretty darn dope. Uh, another one is the uh, the black one with the. Sorry, no, not the black one. I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked much into it, so I only know of a couple. Um, that's a good price for you. You too, don't worry guys. Um, maybe like 400, 500 dollars. Hey Aditya, uh, what colorway did you get? Monster Magic. Thanks for thanks for the support, man. I think the Pharrell BYW is pretty sick. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard to uh, match clothing with, um, but it's definitely a very very unique shoe. And I think the BYW is definitely gonna take over the market. And a lot of people are sleeping on uh, the first uh, iteration of it. And then Nate, my day's been going well. I've been celebrating Chinese New Year, so I've just been hanging out, chilling. How about you guys? Happy Chinese New Year, by the way, to uh, those who celebrate. Hey Rafi, thanks for the support, man. Did you buy the recent one or did you buy the Pixel Knit EQT Triple Black, um, Edgar? Because I love the new one as opposed to the uh, Pixel uh, Knit one. I'm not saying they're both not good, it's just that the upper was kind of grayish um, as opposed to the uh, really, really dark blacks that the current Triple Black EQT. Ah, uh, Starry Ma Monster Magic. Uh, what did I say? Um, I think I said... Um, I'm saying it's really awesome to support your creators uh, around where you're from as well. So thank you for the support. I'm really happy um, that you like my content. Ooh, almost died there. Alright. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Hey, I made it up without going through that. How do I get this guy? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, use this? Climb up? Oh shit, yeah, I'm just gonna climb up. And then... Ooh! Sick! Alright. I must have dodged when I don't climb up. He's pretty gnarly. Or the, whatever this bird is. Oh, sweet. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Ah. No, I need another heart. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I gotta go up to his puke. That's exactly what I had to do. The Raining Champ Pure Boost. It seems like it's been very, very hyped. And yeah, I definitely think they're comfortable and it will last you a while. Um, another thing to note that is boost is really really great um, because it's soft and it's responsive but at the same time people will complain about boost being flattened out it's not because the boost is flattened out it's just that um, over time your feet is too used to the healing so you gotta switch it up sometimes you can change from alpha bounce back to ultra boost or any boost shoes for that matter so just switch it up and then you'll definitely get a uh, uh, like a nice balance and comfort. Hey Darcy, congrats. That's awesome. Do you get them for sale or do you get them at retail? I think the Alpha Edge is so sick. I mean, like, it's one of the more publicly available 4D uh, shoes out there, so I definitely support. Um, um, technology as well as being able to have shoes that are so awesome.
Yo, I'm gonna kill this bird. Quick. Darcy, that's awesome. Congrats. Bruh. Yes. Fuck you. You're dead. I'm so done with this kingdom right now. Marcus, that's awesome. Congrats. Happy New Year to you guys, man. Congrats on the cop. Yeah. Alright. Do I have enough? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see how many we have enough. I don't think I got enough. Barely enough. Okay, I gotta go grab four more moons. Okay, that launcher was definitely not there before. I'm gonna try copying the creams, the cream H human race, but I don't know. We'll see if luck will come up to me. Yeah, I think looks for R1 would be really, really cool. Um, but unfortunately, I feel like comfort-wise, the R2 end is good. Um, also, because R2 needed more hype, um, I think, from Adidas' perspective. Um, Adidas knows that it's really comfy to have the R2s, um, but the R1s are the most hyped in terms of looks. So they need to get the balance between um, having the comfort of R1s uh, sorry, the looks of R1s as well the, as the comfort as with R2s um, and push a little hype into R2s with this CNY colorway. What I mean is like, R2s don't get enough love and Adidas wants to share that love.
Later, monster. Thanks for checking out my video, man. Thanks for tuning into the stream, guys. Really, really appreciate you guys coming on. So what are you guys doing tonight? What'd you guys do today? Let me know how your day went. Oh man, look at this chef. This Italian chef. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> Dark Shadow Ramones cause a Judas releasing the same shit over and over again. Huh. Rick Owens. Um, I've never been a big fan of that shoe. Mainly because I don't know the comfort of it, but have you do have it? Does it feel good? Um, is it a good shoe? I think it's pretty interesting uh, when I see it on feet because it's definitely very bulky. Um, not bulky in terms of looks, but like thick as a thick outsole. Um, and Black Panther, I still need to watch that movie. Um, don't sp give me any spoilers. J Storm, where were we gonna head to? Rick's shoes have leather insoles, comfortable to me, because I have flat feet, but not others. Huh, I have flat feet too. I haven't given them a try, but that sounds pretty awesome. Um, it's definitely not a style that I'm uh, a big fan of, or in the market for, but I could appreciate it. I think it's more of like a, uh, what is that called? A modern ninja goth style or whatever? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just gonna go suicide. Hey X, I'm glad that you like the stream. I'm just trying to chill out, try to finish this game. Nah, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can finish this game in one night.
Is there an NMD R1 Viva? I don't, I don't recall that ever happening. Maybe there was. And yeah, Rick is definitely, yeah, Rick is God Florida fashion, yeah. Uh, Y3 is probably the best line for Adidas. I don't know how that guy comes up with his stuff, but he's a fucking god. I love all of Y3 stuff. Um, the only difference, the only problem is it's so expensive. But it, I think, um, to his defense, with the work he puts in, it's definitely worth it. Like, look at what he did with the BYWs. It's just pretty crazy. Um, and even the new uh, Kazuko High. Um, I'm not too sure which one it was, but it had like double layered primer, it had boost, a crazy outsole. Um, I think that's a pretty sick, uh, like, for Adidas to sign them. I think they're like the perfect combo. No way, Geister, you're opening stuff to me. I didn't know that. Um, who is designing Yoji Yamato stuff? You know? Oh, I didn't know that. Shoot. Hold on, sorry. I'm really not paying attention to this game. Two more moons, guys. Suicide to me. Yeah, who, um, who designed Y3 stuff now, if Yoji Yamato doesn't do it? And congrats on the white UVs, man. That's sick. The 40% off glitch was like, I don't even know if it was a glitch. But I guess they have to uh, honor it, even if it was a glitch. I can do this. I'll just use the hat jump. Uh, right. Oh, I don't have a hat. Oh, 
shoot. Oh, there we go. That's it. Oh, get out of my face, man. Get out of my face. You do so important. Alright, what's this? Yes! That's my third moonlight. I mean, my fourth moon. Oh, jeez. That took forever. How can I do this without jumping, man? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, shit! Ooh! Jeez! No! I'm uh, just gonna leave this. Alright, peace, guys. Sweet. Now I can go back to the. Yes, we did. Yes, let's do that. Alright, let's go to the next kingdom. Alright, I don't know what the next kingdom is, but I'm excited. Do you guys know the storyline? I have no idea. Let's see what's next. What is that? Now we can get... Wait a second. Oh, that can't be good. What's going on? Let's go to Bowser Kingdom, man. Congrats on the CDG Converse. A lot of people got Converse today. Congrats, guys. Okay, if you get hit by a dragon like that, you're not gonna survive. You won't survive. You'll just, you'll just get burnt up. Wow, he has everything from all the kingdom. He's gonna marry Peach. And it's gonna be game over for Mario. What do we do now? Do I just give up? Crumbled in. Ruined kingdom. You wouldn't know it. The Odyssey is broken. <sighs> Alright. That's our first power moon right here. Oh. That's not a power moon. It's like some Hogwarts shit, man. Yeah, the CDG Converse is pretty iconic. 
and very, very simple. Random, congrats on the 500s. Pretty sick. Um, thoughts on Neil Farrell and MDs? Do you know where the where they are website wise? Are they gonna come up? Um, I don't know where they're gonna be website wise, uh, and I don't know when they're coming up. Uh, they're pretty sick. And the, if you're talking about the BYWs, um, I think there's more to it in terms of backstory, and I really want to know what the backstory is. Um, and the new Puma beads don't feel that good. Um, they're just like a regular midsole. Um, I think the plastic that surrounds the bead makes it really, really tough. Uh, it might break down over time, but from wearing it right away, I definitely didn't feel any comfort. Um, that is astounding to me. Um, but the Alpha Bounce was much better uh, comparatively to the new Puma jamming beads. Whoa, is that a sword? What? The fuck is that? Okay, what do I do if I break this up? Oh, they're just swords on the ground? That's lame. Fuck. That's kind of lame. I thought there was more to that. Sweet. Oh, I'm getting rich today. Alright, Mario is. This is a really, really cool kingdom. Definitely a different look compared to the other ones. This is like Monster Hunter all over again. Okay, how much is like fucking kill this guy though? Um, okay. I didn't know he was like controlled by Bowser. I thought he was just like, like evil. What the? Shit. The North Face vans are pretty fucking sick. I really, really want them. Um, I really wish I caught the yellow ones. Wasn't able to. Pretty sad. Um, and the bag that came with it and the jacket. Sick combo. Definitely a dope collab. 
And I kind of wish North Face will try and collab with um, Adidas. I want to see what they can come up with. I haven't tried the hover cushioning yet. I really want to give uh, it a try. Uh, I think it would be very comfortable because uh, it would try to mimic what they have in uh, Under Armour Charge, uh, Charged or Charge, uh, which was pretty comfor comfortable as well. Um, yeah. All right, let's see how the people are doing. So cool. Alright, last one, guys. I didn't expect there to be a dragon at all in Mario. Honestly. Dude, boost is fucking sick. Congrats on my cop, man. <sighs> Yo, Jonathan, welcome back to the stream, man. I haven't been streaming recently, I know. Alright, I'm gonna focus on this guy, sorry.
keep selling one life heart um one. guys am i a wuss should i get a life up heart or should i just uh should i just uh fight this boss with three lives what do you guys think three lives or six lives don't do it get one dude yo rick big fan of you too but come on guys, what should I do? Should I get a life up heart or no? What's the vote? Be a man? Oh, be a man. Do the right thing. All right. All right. Since no one else is uh, coming in on this. It's like the boss, final boss, just fight him. Do it? Okay, fine, I'll just fight him. Nah. If I can't beat him two more tries, then I'll get it. Actually, no. I ain't no bliss. I got this. I can, I can beat him right now. What do you guys think? Should we get it? <sighs> okay, I'm buying it. If I can't kill him with six <laughs> lives. Just gonna give up on life. Um, no, I'm not from HK. I was born Canadian. Um, what do you think of the EQT 9317 Nova Leather Pack? I think it gave it a chance for EQT to prove its luxury.
second level of that life, man. No bit. Okay, fine. It gave me a little bit of security, but I still. I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right, and Nate, you got me. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to cop the beam, beam for it either, so. It's pretty sick, but I just couldn't cop it. And, um, Rick Dog, um, I really want to visit Australia and New Zealand. Um, I'm really into cars and modded cars, so I definitely want to know what the car seems like in New Zealand, especially because of the Mighty Car mod guys. They always do some dope ass uh, content there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll hit you up, bro. I'll see you if I ever go to Christchurch. Favorite Max bot squeaky as fuck? Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't sound very squeaky. It doesn't sound squeaky at all. Yeah, the Dame 4 babes dropped. Unfortunately, I didn't cop. Rick Dog, that's awesome, man. And yeah, Jonathan's right. They dropped everywhere. So sad. He looks so fucking good. I'm actually thinking maybe I should pay it for resale. I like which which colorway do you guys like more, black or green, babe? Oh, this kingdom is sick. I kind of wish I was able to control uh, the dragon. Oh no. I'm doing that epic uh, cinematic spin. That's right, Mario. You're about to get this. Your whole life, you have been waiting for this moment. Peach is waiting for you, for you to capture her, so that she can be your wife and not Bowser's wife. You've died a million times over. You've died a gazillion times over. And now, this is your chance, your time, to make this right. Mario, are you ready for this? Because it seems like you're about to fall asleep in front of the biggest moment in your entire life. Come on, Mario. Can you do this? With your shiny ass shoes, can you do this? Nah, man, don't fucking fall asleep. This is be your motivational time, man. <laughs> you're finishing the final left in a ship. <laughs> I don't know if it is the ending of the game. And then Nate, thanks for chilling with me. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, new Dragon Ball Super 128. I'm not sure what the Super 128 is. And yeah, sure, Rick, definitely. Hey Steven, welcome to the stream, man. A showdown. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> Why do they have those straw hats? This is so cool. I need 10. Yep. Mm. 
sick. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the stream. What you guys do today? What you guys uh, plan for the weekend? And if you guys are enjoying the stream, give me a good thumbs up. Um, for those who aren't speaking much, uh, I still welcome the stream. Thank you for taking your time, chilling with me. Definitely appreciate that. The aesthetic of this Bowser castle is fucking lit. Oh, sweet. What? Do you guys hear that music? Let me do that again. is insane. Listen to this guy. That is sick. Okay, anyway. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. He's a bird, but he can't fly. That is so cool. Am I being really lame for how cool this is? Because this is really freaking cool. Hyping up so much right now. This is so sad. I don't think I'm coming anytime soon, Rick Dog, but thanks for the offer. I'll definitely check out your IG though. And if for all those other people, if you guys haven't found me on IG yet, um, my name is going to be Billy Visual when I do. Uh, please, get on my face, get on my face. Yeah, I really love the sound effect.
Sorry, guys, give me a second. Just trying to figure something out. Also, if you guys have any suggestions about my channel, things that I'm doing good and things that I'm not doing good, it'd be really awesome if I can get that like extra push uh, to create my content um, that like you guys might want to watch or um, might want to hear my thoughts on. Sweet. All right, back in the system. Uh, easy. <laughs> I was tweeting, yeah. Looks really intense. What the fuck? That's not what I did. Um, what shoes are hot right now? Um, I don't know. What are you, what are you uh, looking for? Fashion or comfort or athletics? I think maybe uh, the future cast DVDs are pretty hot. Um, the new BYWs are pretty fucking hot. Um, the EQT uh, ADV Basque, that's pretty fucking hot. There's a lot of shoes that are really hot. Um, I don't have I don't have Snapchat. And yeah, those extra lives are fucked now. Shit. Um, I don't have Snapchat, I just use Instagram um, for a lot of my stories. If you guys are liking the stream, can you guys give me a big thumbs up in the comments? Or, uh, or a wahoo. What's that? Oh, it's a bird. Sweet. Oh, 
your nose in the plaster wall. Hmm. I got too greedy, guys. I got too greedy. Congrats on the fifth anniversary, Red. I think those are pretty. That's a pretty clean colorway. It's been a while since we've seen colored stripes on the Ultra Boost. And what's the Atra? Shit, I'm getting tired here. Should I finish the game or go to sleep? What do you guys think? is so cool. Is it really worth it? Nah, it's not worth it. Shit, man. This kingdom is so cool. I want to see where it comes out of. I'm kind of confused. He's got a butt for a face, but then he's got this yellow thing coming out of his butt face. What is that? It's so strange. It's so cool though.
only pair of outfits do you own in the colorways? I have the Chinese New Year, the white and gray ones, the... Uh, I want to cop the new ones, as well as the luxe ones. So I know you guys might not know it, but if you guys search up Alpha Bounce um, Beyond Lux, L-U-X-E, if you guys look at that, that Alpha Bounce is set. And I hope to have like a nice collab to come out of that soon. Um, and was there a glitch? What glitch was there? And uh... Oh, all terrain. Right. Damn, five pairs of shoes, 40% off glitch. That's, that's pretty smart. Good job. Watch this. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What am I doing? Hey Colalio, thank you for tuning in the stream. Sorry that you had to go. Um, and yeah, Rick, I'll check you out. Don't worry. Um, and I do a lot of freelance video. Especially for commercial work, such as like uh, marketing for small businesses and businesses um, on sorts. Um, through there, I was able to um, create my skill set that I use for my YouTube channel. So all the high quality content that I try to make uh, out of shoes, um, I try to uh, like have fun and be creative uh, with those formats. But yeah, a lot of freelance work uh, is what I do.
guess that's it for this area. Let's go grab this moon. <laughs> yep, I'm trying to be the minimalist. <laughs> and now, mom, don't worry, don't worry, Greg. Thanks for checking out my stream. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. Um, the discussion topic is basically talking about sneakers that you caught recently and that you really like and want to talk about it. <laughs> Shut up, guys. I'm kidding. Um, for me, 3M and 4.0 Ultra Boost on the Vita Switch. That's sick, man. Congrats. Uh, I think 3M, you're talking about the 5th anniversary one, right? Yeah, I really wish the 40% off glitch was in Canada. I would have copped everything. Damn it. Um, I don't know if they're going to bring Prime Net to Alpha Bounce. I really hope so. And thanks, Mimi. I'm really, I'm really happy you guys support me, and I'm really happy that you guys are here along the journey with me. Um, I'm trying to push out as much content as I can, um, but like, life just gets in the way, and hopefully, um, making this YouTube channel will somehow free me from being, um, being independent and being able to create more content for you. Oh god. Oh god. That is so funny. What's going on? Why is this guy so funny? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over there and see what happens. The fuck is going on? <laughs> that is so funny. Man, I love Mario Odyssey. Um, my next vid's gonna be about the Triple Black Ultra Boost. I think I'm gonna be pushing it out for next Friday. Um, yeah, don't worry about the spam chatting. Um, what's my favorite cop? I think my favorite cop is gonna be the recent BYW, uh, the crazy BYW, um, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be comfortable, but from the looks of it, it's getting me really hyped. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a try and look at the Ignite Limitless, um, but the recent Ignite models have been disappointing to me, so unfortunately, um, it's a bit iffy for me to review the Ignite ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sad. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Nice. I 
It's like 3 18 in Toronto right now. It's pretty damn late. I don't know why I'm still awake. Alright, Rick. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in my next stream. Thanks. I just want to go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate that you guys are tuning in on my stream. It's such a late hour. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. Look at that outfit, dog. What? <laughs> You want to get a look and see what's that? You got to be dressed for a battle plan. <laughs> look at that fool. Um, yeah, don't worry about it, Nalong. I use Final Cut Pro X or Premiere Pro as well as After Effects. I use three uh, things. Um, when's your next live stream? I'm not sure. I don't really schedule these. Most of the time I do it on weekends. If you want to look for weekends, uh, th that's when I usually I stream. Wow, that's so cool. What am I doing here? Man? Good night, JSTOR. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I have a brother. Um, in one of my streams, uh, no, sorry, in one of my vlogs when I went to Hong Kong, you would have seen my uh, brother in um, that video. Um, check out my streams, guys. I mean, no, my vlogs, guys. Uh, you'll really know more about uh, the visuals I create and what I do to create them. Um, and my love for travel, because I really love to travel. I mean, who doesn't? It's like, people who say, um, uh, who, who doesn't love me? I don't know. People who don't love music is kind of weird. Juilliards.
Sick. Alright, I guess that's what it is. Spirited away. This three times that this is way too much.
forever. Sick. I cop the Nike Off-White Blazers and Colin Project Chelsea boots. The Colin Project stuff is so high quality. That's awesome, man. Congrats on your cops. Um, would you say Colin Projects are as comfy as, let's say, the new Converse's? Or better? So I keep one box. Hey, Professor Oak, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next stream. Peace. Hey, Supersonic Slogan. Supersonic Logan, welcome to the stream, man. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in the stream. I'm just trying to beat Mario Odyssey in one night. Hey Major Bob, good morning to you too.
no. Burn it. Yo, good morning. Uh, good morning, Major Bob. I'm trying to beat this game in one go. Uh, and, uh, yo, Cole, welcome to the stream, dog. I'm trying to beat this game. And, uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? How's your day? So cool.
is so clean. Holy shit, that's so trippy. This channel is going to be a gaming channel soon. Maybe. Give me one second, guys. second. Just changing my battery somewhere. Camera. this going. Look how cool this setup is. That's awesome. Is 
Bowser gonna marry her? Ooh, this is so epic. What the fuck? Sorry about that, guys. Is UV? Yeah, I do think so. Um, but if you're looking for performance, I think Ultra Boost is better. But UQT is really, really good. What the hell is this? What do I do now? Oh, I know.
What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. I'm struggling really hard to try to get this. I'm sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm trying to beat this boss. This is awesome. EQT support 9317 is really comfortable. Um, it doesn't need to have primed it to be comfortable. It's pretty good, honestly. 
even the mesh one is good. Lawrence, don't worry about it. Thanks for tuning in. Really happy you get with me. Hey Leo, congrats on your baby rise. Oh, how are you doing? And are you doing a video on the BYW? Yes, I am. I will definitely be doing a video on the BYW. And uh, I got it recently, so um, I'm going to be waiting on the shipping. I definitely didn't make one on the BYW. I made one on the crazy uh, something else. All right, let me just focus. This boss is only mad because he doesn't have precious in the
minutes. See you later. It's 4 a.m. in Toronto. Let me just see what's happening there. Alright, we're one step away and Bowser can... But we can chase him after Odyssey. Let's throw that on him. You look bad. Holy crap. It was only cool for like a couple What the f 
far. Stream. Thank you so much for you guys tuning in. Um, it's been a really awesome, like, chill stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next video will be Last of Mario. Video. So, um, stay tuned for new videos. Guys, till next time. I just got finished with mine. Peace.